Pescadero is just a quick half hour trip south of Half Moon Bay. The views are out of this world on Highway 1. And on a weekday, you may have Pescadero Beach all to yourself, like Woodside's Jeff Cocos, who often comes to unwind. I'm just fishing, that's all. Just enjoying the weather and fishing. And you are all by yourself. Yeah, it's great. No, we're not in Portland, Maine. We are still in Pescadero. Say hello to the Pigeon Point Lighthouse. It is the tallest lighthouse right here on the West Coast. 115 feet tall, Pigeon Point was built in 1872. And it's become a beacon not only for boaters, but for artists as well. Half Moon Bay's Sue Hatfield says it brings her peace of mind. And the scenery, well, that's okay too. I enjoy it because it is clean and pure and sometimes I actually get to see a whale and um, I don't know it's refreshing and it's not all touristy. Tourists well you have to go downtown for that. State Street it's just two miles inland from Highway 1 known for its trendy shops and the oldest Protestant church on the peninsula and great food. Duart's Tavern has been a fixture since 1894 and still very popular. It's a throwback family restaurant with its original bar. Seafood is a go-to, but their artichoke soup is legendary. I never know you can make soup out of artichokes. Just the hearts, yes. The leaves are a little chewy. <laughs> But the soup is amazing. Yeah, the soup's good, yeah. Well, I can vouch for that. Yeah. <laughs> and so can Marianne Peterson at Cupertino. A day at Pescadero is not complete without a bowl. The artichoke soup is excellent. Yeah. It has been here for a very, very long time, I believe. And um, they do a good job. If you want a delicious sandwich, check out the Arcangeli Grocery in Delhi. Warning, bring an appetite. This sandwich is so delicious. And... Look at this. There's a whole chicken in here. <laughs> you are so cute. For family fun, the Harley Goat Farm is the perfect place to visit. It's kid-friendly. You can pet and feed the little ones, but you can't take them home. I like the baby ones. Yeah, they're kind of cute, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to take one home? No. Dee Harley founded the goat farm 30 years ago. All the milk from these nanny goats make wonderful cheeses and other products all available inside their gift shop. Every day I wake up and there's the hum and the rhythm of the, of the farm, the animals, the, the clinker to clanks, the people. It's wonderful life. And the goats. Well, of course the goats. It all starts with the goats. On the trip back home, you'll notice all the plush farmland off Pescadero Creek Road. And when you're back on Highway 1, be sure and pull into the Pie Ranch farm stand. You will not be disappointed. Why did you stop at the Pie Ranch? Um, I saw signs for pie and... That was enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah, do not forget the Pie Ranch. It is outstanding. There's lots of little shops along the way, so you got time. If you're on Highway 1, pull the car over, have a little fun.